midnight headlights Mighty already nice Steep grade up the hips Go me down Make a good time Gotta keep going Love when she wipe the slide But not a tempo Keep the burger with her When it's all on the radio Gotta keep going Caught me up, jacked me up, shoot me up, wrapped up in my way. Look for the morning. Ooh, I'm running my life away. Looking for a better way for me. Ooh, I'm running my life away. Looking for a sunny day. Guitar Heroes. All right, how about some Eddie Rabbit from 1978? Driving My Life Away. A great little song, and uh, fortunately for us, not too complicated. <laughs> All right, so what do we got going here? Well, uh, we've got uh, four verses, we've got a chorus that we repeat over and over again, and uh, we've got fairly simple chords. Uh, we're going to use the chords uh, D, uh, G, got a C in there, and that's all the chords we have. Uh, there is kind of like a little instrumental thing that kind of goes on at the end of the uh, at the end of the chorus, which uh, I, I didn't really get into. It doesn't really seem like it matters that much, with, kind of on our simplified method here. There's a B minor there. Other than that, uh, we basically have a three-chord song, so we like that. Uh, what's complicated about the song? Speed and a whole bunch of lyrics, almost in like a rapping type uh, format. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go through the lyrics many times to, get, to kind of get that down, and I probably still screwed up on it. But they're fast. They come fast. And uh, it's a, quite a unique song, actually, actually from that perspective. Uh, now, in this case, uh, Eddie sings pretty high, so I do have my my uh, guitar tuned down a half a step. Uh, I think that Eddie uh, has the capo on, uh, he's, he plays standard and then he plays up too. So roughly it, the way I've got it here uh, with tuned down a half, and this isn't the way you do it, but to get to, to the key, it'd be up here at the third. And so basically that's two up plus one for the half step I got tuned down. So uh, this makes it, I mean, I, I, the good thing about it is, is you can play it in with the with the same chords as the original, but uh, you don't have to uh, worry about singing because it's sometimes I found in my history that if the singing is too high, you know you, you can't do the song. And uh, in in this case, these are songs where you know it's not a whole bunch of intricate instrumental, right? We're just talking about kind of strumming chords here. So, all right. So what do we got? Well, the intro is just kind of him just strum, strumming the D chord, which I thought was a little bit unusual, but that's all there is. Now, uh, that's about the pace, roughly, and, and I you know, do a little embellishment here. I got my index finger going on and off the, uh, the G string, and then I do a little bit of palm muting and, uh, uh, to kind of give it a little bit of rhythm. Hear that palm muting. Hear that scratching sound on the downbeat, because I'm just dragging my hand across that, and then I kind of release it for the, for the up strum, so you're only hearing it on the down strum. It's something you got to kind of work from a feel perspective. It's not really a, an instruction per se to say how to do it other than you're rubbing this palm is going to be hitting those strings, dragging across strings. You do it really, you know, I mean obviously if it's, if it's too much you're going to get that and if you do it not enough then you're not going to hear anything. So you just kind of keep practicing that with dragging on the strums just a little bit and eventually you'll kind of get that. All right, so that's all there is in, in the intro is just uh, him doing that. And then he 
starts out in the verse, and this is where it really gets tough. With a midnight headlight riding on a rainy night, steep grade of the head, slow me down, making no time cheap. But I keep rolling D. And we're just hanging on the D for the second verse. Those windshield white foot slapping out a tempo, keeping perfect rhythm, put the song on the radio G. Gotta keep D rolling. Ooh, it's just hang on the D for the chorus. Ooh, I'm in my mind. Laugh away, looking for a dream. Get away for me. Ooh, I'm in my seat. Laugh away, looking for a dream. Sunny day. And then here you're thinking, boy, I need to get, need to get back to D someplace because that's what happens on the first line. This is where there's a little bit of this instrumental thing. There's a B minor, then a G. And it, it kind of sounds like he goes back to a B minor. And then, then to D. Uh, and then you start out with, with the third verse and the fourth verse. And they're, they're the same except for different lyrics. Do the chorus again. Repeat the first verse. Uh, repeat the chorus, and uh, in, in this case, it's one of those fade out uh, uh, things that you know was done in the 60s and 70s. Uh, uh, this is 1975. I think I said 70 at the beginning, 75. So he's, he's just doing the chorus, and it just kind of fades out at the end. Or, but otherwise, you'd be pretty much ending on a D, right? Ooh, I'm driving my C, like a looking for a C, a G, a sunny day. You don't say for me there, but you could. <laughs> and, and that would be a good place to end it right there. Indeed. Normally when you end a song, it's on the first chord that you really start with. Generally speaking, that's usually the way it is, unless you've got some funky chord on that, that's in some songs. That's, that's the case. Okay, so there you go. Eddie Rabbit, Driving My Life Away, 1978. A great little song. and. Uh, but you got to get your uh, wrapping shoes on, so to speak, uh, for this one. <laughs> All right, well, hope you got something out of this lesson. Take it easy and uh, keep on a strumming out there. We'll see you next time. Ooh, I'm driving my love away, looking for a better way.